So please welcome Joel. Artificial intelligence can, can come into play um, by autonomously recommending the optimal content for each student in real time and really providing the, this uh, personalized curriculum of that skill. Greatest intelligence in education is, is not artificial, um, it's the teachers. And so one core part is how can we augment the teachers? And when you speak with teachers, they're inundated with administrative tasks. And that's another aspect where I think artificial intelligence can help out. So when we did a lot of research alongside teachers, we found that how they were analyzing the data created by these online learning systems was through Excel spreadsheets, and it was an incredibly tiresome task. And that's where artificial intelligence, in addition, can come into play. Analyzing the data that's being generated by these students and provide the teachers with actionable insights. Which are the students that are falling behind? What concepts are they falling behind on? And how can you help? So I think partially it's about um, providing this personalization for students, helping them achieve mastery faster. Um, as well as augmenting the teachers and providing them with more insights uh, so that they can provide uh, more effective learning experiences. At SANA Labs we provide artificial intelligence solutions to the education industry. So I think we're seeing incredible breakthroughs in the applications uh, of artificial intelligence in solving real-world problems um, in healthcare, in education, in transportation. And uh, in education in particular, um, I see true value um, in augmenting teachers and students to learn more effectively and scale the personalization of, of education. And the personalization of education has, has proven to have extraordinary effects. So one example is um, the Bill and Melinda Gates study, where students that received personalized content and curriculum had 50% better learning outcomes over the course of a year. So at SANA we're passionate about how we can bring those benefits uh, to students and teachers at scale. Tests, and you're like, let's do tests 10% better digitally. And then you, you get exactly what the teachers want, because they just want to sort of make their existing process a bit easier, uh, but you might end up with only incremental improvements. And in particularly if you're only following sort of uh, the teacher's ideas in this, in this space. So I also think there's, there can be benefits of coming from a sort of completely blank slate um, and try to be inspired by, why, but, uh, by what has worked in other industries. At SANA we apply this technology to personalize content to students. And what that means is that based on your knowledge gaps, your proficiency, and how you learn, you get personalized content recommendations that help you learn more effectively. So we model the user, what they know, what uh, concepts they have been missing and have found a difficulty and we combine that with advanced modeling of the content such as how difficult the content is, its instructional value, prerequisites and how it relates to other items of content and then we utilize that to provide you with a uniquely personalized learning experience. Learning tools to date have been like textbooks put online that's why like, it's such an incremental improvement for everyone involved. Uh, the other aspect is like tests put online. Like the tests are still terrible, but they're put online. And everyone is sort of happy with that because it's an easy product to sell and you improve the existing workflow of it, uh, but it's not fundamentally sort of redefining the learning process.